right, so this is your first draw structure. It's ethylene. Um, I hope you have print out this sheet before you started watching the videos. Make sure you cut them, cut through the dotted line to get to one of that. That's ethylene. Flip it and write in the back. So I, I will always, on all of the videos, I'll always have front and back written that way. This is already given to you. You just need to flip the page and write on the back. All right, so let's actually draw what ethylene looks like. You know that eth means two carbons, so you know the structure contains two carbons. So these are the two carbons. Um, there is a double bond in there, so the IUPAC name is ethene. Both of these are carbons. Make sure you guys um, get used to drawing line angles. I know it's a beginning, but just the line angle form of this would be just the two lines. Okay, so it's ethene, which is the IUPAC name, and ethylene is what it's called in common name. Whenever he, in future, after he has star one structure, he's going to refer ethene with ethylene. He's never gonna say ethene. That's why even to understand his notes or his lectures, you have to know your star structures that he tells you to remember. So it's a very good idea to use this um, video solutions in the process of making flashcards so it's easier for you to remember okay anything else about ethene yes so hybridization of both of these carbons are sp2 so the shape is going to be trigonal planar so always try to draw a double bonded structure in um, side view perspective because that's where you can see. Okay, I'll just draw another side view perspective where we have one carbon. These are the p orbitals where the pi bond is overlapping. This is the sigma bond, and you have one hydrogen on a dash, the other hydrogen on a wedge. This is the side view perspective of this. Knowing this will help you um, do reactions to it in future. So side view perspective is something that you need to know for ethylene. The Teaching Center. UF's Learning Resource Center.